Okay. <laughs> so since I was reaching for it anyway, let's go ahead and start with the water. Uh, hello again from last week. As promised, on my Big Fat Fridays, every week I will be doing a weight loss update video or gain or fail or whatever. But right now I'm still not weighing myself because I don't want to get sidetracked by loss or no loss. So I'm still not getting on the scale. Okay, with that being said, water. <laughs> this is what I drink every day, and I drink about three to four of these a day. Right now, I'm drinking three to four because it's really hot, and I live in Texas, and mm, this heat ain't no joke. You want the water. So, uh, and I know you should never refill water bottles. That's a disclaimer, y'all. I do it. Don't y'all do it. Do as I say, not as I do. But I drank three to four of these, and that's because I read somewhere online a while back when I was trying to study different ways that might work for me with weight loss. I learned that you should drink about half of your body weight in water in ounces. So, for instance, let's say that you weigh 200 pounds. You should drink... 100 ounces of water in a day at least right so that your body doesn't like pack on water and i come from a family with a lot of people who suffer from edema really badly on both my mom's side and my dad's side and it's it's hell y'all to put it simply it's really hard because we swell easily and instantly Heat makes us swell. Everything makes us swell. So, uh, we put, we, we will hold water like camels, basically. And what I learned is by, and I, did, I typically, like, I'll get up in the morning, I'll go to the bathroom. And when I go to bed at night, I will go to the bathroom. That's how, I, that's how my normal day goes. But by drinking all the water... I will actually go to the bathroom periodically throughout the day, several times throughout the day. And I really, really like that because that's not something that I can do. So, if you're suffering from edema, that's something that you may want to look into. I don't know. Just talk to your doctor. Ask your physician. But, I wanted to talk to you guys about that last week and I didn't, so I'm glad I, I did this time. And what I've been doing also with the water is... Whenever I eat something, and I'm still eating whatever I want, I have my carbs. Um, I'll eat, I'll take one bite, like for instance, let's say I'm eating a slice of pizza. Let's talk about food that I shouldn't eat, right? <laughs> Whenever you eat one slice of pizza, um, I will take a bite of the pizza, chew that, swallow it, drink water. And I'll drink a nice amount of water before I go and I take the next bite. And after every bite, I drink a nice amount of water. A lot of people will tell you to drink a certain amount of water before you eat. Like 20 to 30 minutes before you eat your food. A lot of times I can't really do that because I might have forgotten to eat. And then I'll go back and go, snap, I forgot to eat. And I'll just be so focused on getting the food that I won't drink the water 30 20 to 30 minutes and when I think about it I'm sitting there drinking my water and I'm looking at the food I'm drinking my water I'm looking at the food one but I really want to eat the food so <laughs> I don't do myself like that that's like torture to me so what I'm doing is taking the bite I'll drink a nice amount of water take another bite drink another nice amount of water okay that works for me might not work for you consult your physician Moving right along. The next thing that I want to talk to you guys about. Snacks. Do y'all snack? I mean, because I really find it. I find it hard to get three meals a day. So to work out three meals and three snacks is a little bit difficult for me. Because I forget. Like I ate this morning. I haven't eaten anything else. Except for a uh, cracker granola bar. Mm. And that's it. So, I have to remind myself to eat stuff. And it's almost dinner time yet. Yeah, I'm talking about this. But, 
I find it difficult to snack sometimes. So, the other week when I was, I went to the Tom Thumb and Randall's event and they gave us <laughs> trail mix. Okay, it's called Al Almond Berry Medley, okay? And when I looked at this, I will not lie to y'all, it's got cranberries in it. It has dark chocolate covered soybeans, almonds, blanched almonds, and blueberries. The first thing that I thought when I saw the bag, when I saw trail mix, honey, let me be honest with you. I said, I ain't eat no damn nuts and berries. What am I, a squirrel, rabbit, the hell? You know, <laughs> I'm so I'm like a two year old. I kid you not, I'm like a two year old when I eat. So I am picky as I'll get out. You do not want to invite me to your house for dinner. I am not going to eat anything that I don't like just to save your feelings. So I will politely drink water, but do not press me or you will get your feelings hurt because I will tell you exactly why I don't like your nasty looking food or. Ooh, that's healthy looking. I don't want that, you know. <laughs> Put cheese on it. Put some butter on it. You know, I'm one of those kind of people. So, that's why dieting is so hard for me. <laughs> but, uh, I was very stuck up and very, very mean to the almond beer mix. So, what I did was, uh, my honey, I gave it to him because he eats it. And my, like my mom, she eats trail mix. My honey eats trail mix. And he goes, well... You should really try this because this stuff is really, really good. And I'm going. Mm -mm. So he said, no, really try it. You, you'll like it. Pick as you are, you'll like it. So I tried it. And this stuff is actually very good. I mean, very, very good. I Definitely a snack to have. It's about eight bucks a bag, though. Eight dollars a bag. And you can get it at any Safeway store, Tom Thumb, Randall's, whatever. It's in your area. But it's about eight dollars a bag. And you won't eat a lot. I don't eat a lot of it. Like, he's eating a lot out of this. And we've been eating this together. So, I mean, it lasts. So, it's, it's definitely worth it in my eyes. And I'm cheap as I'll get out. I'm not even going to say fruit, but I'm cheap very I'm, I'm probably a bigger snob when it comes to my money than I am when it comes to my food okay so I have a second bag of trail mix when I got all snotty about the trail mix uh, my honey goes hmm I'm gonna go to the store I'm gonna find a trail mix that she'll eat he went to the store he coaches football so he goes to the store gets the trail mix put this puts the trail mix in the car and goes and coaches football then when football practice was over he gets in the car he's got this nice melted mess right but the name of the trail mix is uh it's actually called peanut butter cup medley it has miniature peanut butter cups honey sesame sticks roasted and salted nuts roasted and salted i'm sorry roasted and salted peanuts roasted and salted almonds as well as honey roasted peanuts Okay, this is dessert, child. <laughs> this stuff is good, okay? It is really, really good. And I'm telling you, I am very picky. I don't like food that's too pretty because I swear up and down, it's not going to taste good. And I'm not a big trier of new things because I'm just, I'm a two-year-old. When it comes to my eating habits, I am two years old. And I am not growing up. I will be that Toys R Us kid forever. But those peanut butter cup medley, you can eat it as a snack, of course. But I say it's dessert because, like, if you want something that's sweet and you really don't know what you want, that makes a really good sweet snack. I, I really, really, really like it. Okay? So, next thing. Ah, let's talk about my phone. I didn't show you guys this last time either. And I don't know where it is. Oh, there it is. Okay. Weight Watchers, for their program, they have an app on the phone that you can enter your information in to see how many points is in like some packaged food. 
I'm not doing Weight Watchers, but I am counting points like I told you about in the last video, right? You guys remember that, and then if not, just go back and look at that video. It's not going to hurt. Okay. <laughs> but I, And I'll put a link down if you're watching this for the first time. But what I did was I, could, I did not buy the program. Therefore, I cannot use their app. What I did was I got to looking around to see if maybe there was another app. There is, and there's a free app. I use the Android phone, as you guys might have noticed in other videos. But there is a, it's called WW Points Calculator. But look at it in your Google Play Store. And it's free for Android users, I know. But this is what it looks like. Let's see here. I don't know where you are. Okay. I hope you guys can see this. <laughs> She's not telling me which way to go. Okay. So I got a thumbs up. So the WW points calculator. You put in how many, how much protein is in the item, how many carbohydrates are in it, how much fat is in it, and how much fiber is in it. Then you tell it to calculate the points. And it'll tell you how many points that is. Then you turn on, turn your package around again. I should have did that in the beginning because that's where you're going to get all the information. But, uh, oh, servings per container is 12 servings. One serving is one fourth cup. Okay. So, you know that one fourth a cup of this is going to be five points. All right. So then you can add that into your points balance. Another thing that I like about this is that it does track. You can put in like how many points you're allowed. It'll track how many points you've used for the day, also for the week. Really, really neat. I like it. And it's free. <laughs> I love free. But, uh, okay. So, I guess that concludes everything. Oh, no, it doesn't. I want to show y'all my baby. Okay. And my all my kids are gonna be like Daisy. I'm we with your babies. Okay. Now, can y'all see this? Isn't it lovely? I'm a QVC junkie, y'all. I mean, it's bad. It's really bad. Every weekend I'm watching in the kitchen with David, with my cheap self. But I don't buy anything unless it just like really blows my mind. Or, it's, no, it has to blow my mind. I don't care how cheap it is. It, it has to blow my mind. Because if it doesn't blow my mind, I'm just not going to buy it. Okay. So, I want y'all to see this grill. It's called the Healthy Grill. No, I don't know what it's called. Anyway, it's made by Chris Fintag. My daughter's like, it's right there. No, it's not. But, <laughs> but it's just, it's a griddle. Okay, so here's the lid. I'm going to take this apart and I'm going to show it to you. But here's the lid. Okay. And this piece here. Oh, let me take the cord out. Okay, here we go. This piece here is your grill. Okay? And you can cook stuff on the flat surface. You can cook something here and get your nice little grill marks, which... This is about to replace my panini in a minute because my panini just starts shocking me. But <laughs> it's time for that thing to go. But um, so this is your griddle and it is, you can make all kinds of stuff on it. And it's got little suggestions for, you know, your fish, like how, what temperature to cook everything on here on the side. Fish, pork chop, sausage, vegetables, burgers, steak, whatever. But. Bam! Look at that. This sucker is dishwasher safe. Dishwasher safe! And it's because the grill parts are all coated. So you can put them in a dishwasher. I probably still would not do that. You know, just because I'm scary like that. But it is dishwasher safe and you can submerge it in water. Okay. So when you cook on that, everything is going to fall down into here. This is what's going to catch all the fat from my food. And see, it just sits in the shell. 
I mean, you can get it in like different colors, blue, yellow, red, black. I started to get it in yellow, but I was like, no, I'm going to just go with black. But this is your grease catcher, and it just you just pop everything, and this is dishwasher safe also. Toss that in the dishwasher. Nice and sturdy, and it can hold a lot of grease. It's not going to spill over like some grease. Little grease trap things. But, <laughs> so, here you go. And you can turn this any direction that you want to turn it. But, so this is my grill, y'all. I just had to show it to you. Just in there. <laughs> she picked it up for me. And then put your lid on. But I love it. I fell in love with that. I bought that over the weekend. And it made it in time for it to go into the video. And I was just so happy. I was like, I got to show it to him. Because it does uh, fit the whole healthy thing. Yay. But, um. Uh, so that's that. That came this weekend. I'll try not to buy anything over this weekend. But I cannot make any promises because I'm telling you that in the kitchen with David is always fun. But I'll probably come up with some, with some nice recipes that I can make on my grill so I can show you guys. And y'all don't have to listen to me talk every Friday. So until next Big Fat Friday, I'll see you then.